everyone, this is Marshall Giller, Head of Investment Research here at FX Primus, bringing you my European opening market comment for Friday, uh, May 27th. We've got a fairly light schedule today. The only indicator or major indicator out during the European morning is the INSEE Indi Index of French Consumer Confidence, which is already out and it was higher than expected. That could support the euro today, but on the other hand, I wonder if people will put much credence in it this month since the strikes that are rattling France now are likely to depress next month's reading. Uh, Italian uh, business and consumer confidence are also coming out, but they don't appear to have much effect on the FX market. In the US, the second estimate of first quarter GDP is expected to be revised up from the initial 0.5% uh, quarter on quarter seemingly adjusted annualized rate to 0.9%. Uh, that's because of stronger consumer spending, stronger construction, and higher inventories. The figure also includes uh, corporate profits, uh, or the, the revised figures will include the figures for corporate profits, which have fallen in four of the last five quarters. That figure could affect stock market sentiment. Falling profits may also mean less hiring, uh, which could affect Fed rate expectations. Later in the day, uh, Fed Chair Yellen is going to receive the Radcliffe Medal, an award given each year to people who have had a transformative impact on society. She'll also talk with Harvard professor Greg Mankiw about her, quote, groundbreaking achievements, unquote. Now, some market ex observers expect her to comment on the economy and Fed policy in her talk, or in the Q&A afterwards. But I think it'll be more of a personal appearance I expect she'll refrain from making any serious comments on policy until her June 6th speech to the World Affairs Council of Philadelphia. It's possible, though, that some market participants could interpret her silence as acquiescing to the recent slew of hawkish comments from other FOMC members, and that alone could be mistakenly positive for the dollar. Now, U.S. markets are closed Monday for the Memorial Day holiday, and so many people will leave their offices early today in New York. Bond traders, in particular, are planning to close early. As a result, there's likely to be little activity in the FX market after Yellen's speech and the Q&A are finished, which will be 2 p.m. local time, 0700 GMT. That's why I'll have only this one comment today. Enjoy your weekend. This is Marshall Gittler, Head of Investment Research at FX Primus. Get more market insights on our education pages and turn your trading ideas into action with FX Primus, the safest place to trade.